These two take time for each other. They care for each other. They respect each other. They genuinely enjoy being together. Their lives are energized by each other and they truly love one another. So it's not too surprising then that our perfect daughter would find the perfect person to bring us to this day and the perfect family to join our family. And uh, uh, that's, that's why we're here. It was the very first time I think Ingrid was at our home and there's Andy cracking the joke. And I'm thinking, oh no, no. I didn't get it at all. I looked over at Ingrid, she's just cracking up like crazy. She, she totally got it, and I knew at that point, yeah, she gets him, she understands him, and uh, knew that she was the one for him. long. <laughs> Andrew, Rue, where do I start? How can I put in one letter just how much you mean to me? We talk about this a lot, but we've been waiting for this day for a long time, but it has flown by, and I think that in part because of our friendship. Ooh. Ingrid, I love you so much. I'm sure you are extra beautiful today, and I hope tonight is the most magical. You mean the world to me. I will forever feel indebted to you for how much better my life is with you around. <laughs> Ingrid, it was obvious at the time why Andy fell in love with you. But it was from then on there that I got to learn more and see you both fall in love together over the subsequent years but there's nobody more perfect for my brother and nobody more perfect to become my brother's home. I'm looking forward to forever with my co-best. Who? Love always and forever, Andrew. P.S. You're something borrowed and something blue is now something new to you. I bought the blue ring as a wedding gift. So beautiful. Thank you. How are you feeling? Good. Good. I love you. I love you. Thank you for the ring. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, first, you must always remind Ingrid how beautiful she is, which I feel like you're already really good at, but regardless of how she cuts her hair and how much it resembles a mushroom, a bowler hat, or Dorothy Hamill. You look great. Thank you. Here. You look handsome. It was hot as hell. Thank you. Yay. Yay. <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. <laughs> I want to stay with you. Uh, everybody here, you, you've played a big part of the lives of everybody here, and they've all played a big part in your life as well. That's why they're here. And so, uh, if you have a glass ready, we'd like to offer a toast to Andrew and Ingrid and all of us. We'll be friends forever, even longer. If ever there is tomorrow when we're not together, there is something you must always remember. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. 
Hi, princess. Hey. Beautiful. But the most important thing is, even if we're apart, I will always be with you. Cross my heart and cross my mind and cross the room I caught in night this time. Calling me home. Someone smarter than me told me that if it's important to say, to say it simply. I vow to love you as the person who helped me find the best parts of me and I had lost and who is now the best part of me. Simply put, I vow to love you as my soulmate. I promise to never take our love for granted. I vow to continually work together as we grow in our love and in the life we build. At any moment, just say the word and I'll pull out all the stops on any musical you wish. <laughs> I promise to continue in earnest to tell you each time a meal you've made is my new favorite. Since the time you came into his life, I have never seen Andy so happy. You are not only the perfect person for Andy, you are a great fit into our family as well. We all love you very much. Say you will share with me one love, one lifetime. Let me lead you from your solitude. Say you need me with you, here, beside you. Anywhere you go, let me go too. We wish you love, happiness, laughter, and friendship forever. You've officially joined our family as a daughter, sister, aunt, and cousin today. I know I can speak for everyone in our family and say we love you and wish you both nothing but the happiest. Without you, I'm Ingrid and Andrew, I have the honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. and Mrs. Andrew and Ingrid Ross. No matter what happens today, at the end of the day, we will each have married our best friend. Especially now, I can feel just how loved and supported we are, and it makes me that much more excited to be your life partner. May Peacockatin and Dogatificate, <laughs> the patron saints of the three-headed storyteller, bring you endless, endless happiness, laughter, and 7,000 heads of fresh lettuce, Titanic. <laughs>